And welcome back to the Glueware Packet Pushers live stream. Today, we're going to be talking about automating security audits and remediation with Glueware. And we're talking about it from the reseller perspective. Joining me today is Mike Burns. He's a network architect with AdviseX. Mike, welcome. Let's just dive straight in here. You're a reseller. You're out there delivering professional services to customer, and you're using Glueware to deliver security audits. What, <laughs> that sounds a little counterintuitive. What do you mean by that? Let's go over that briefly. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, you know, it may not be the case so much with uh, all the packet pusher audience, but, um, you know, a lot of your guys and people there are continuous learners and, and uh, have a lot of scripting knowledge, but out there in in uh, the workplace, a lot of network engineers haven't kept up to date with their, with their skills, with scripting knowledge, anything like that. So being able to do, uh, you know, perform automation on the fly is has mm -hmm. been a real challenge. So, you know, with Glueware um, as a partner, we're able to perform some security audits. They can be custom, you know, whatever the, cu the customer may need, whether it's SOC, NIST, HIP, HIPAA, or, or even some customer requirements, we can perform that audit, that, uh, that audit. And then the kicker there, what is especially useful is being able then to move into the remediation path almost immediately. Which you right. know, so you're actually going on site and uh, mm -hmm. using Glueware as a VM or as a machine, and then right. inventoring the, the network and the you know, and the firewalls and all the things, and then immediately able to say this is the configuration, this is the network architecture, and then start saying to them these are recommendations, and then even loop into remediation as yes. a reseller, right? Yeah. As a professional services engagement. Correct. Whereas, you know, in the past that was, you know, you do that, the, the audit, and then you'd come back a few weeks later and say, hey, this is where you, things are wrong. You know, let's plan here in another month. Let's actually start doing some remediation. Whereas uh, with Glueware, you can roll right into it immediately. And uh, right. yeah, that, that time of value is, is insane. <laughs> and, yeah. and cheap for the customer or profitable exactly. for you. One of the two, right? right? So once you've got Glueware in there, what about the how would you have a level of confidence that this is right? So how does Glueware know to, to read the devices from any customer who's probably got a network full of weird stuff most of the time, right? Sure. So, you know, that, that's part of the value that we bring to as well as you can uh, have kind of like a, a golden configuration um, mm -hmm. or, you know, fit in a config that needs to be adhered to. Um, and, you know, as we partner with the customer to identify that, you know, it, it compares mm -hmm. the two and, uh, you know, finds the diffs, there and um, the the deviances and, mm. and you know, helps them to identify where it needs to to be corrected. Right. So this is where the configuration drifts off from the audit. You set up a template and say, "I want the network device to have this security status. It should be configured for this, this SSH keying, this mm -hmm. SNMP, this VLAN allocation, so forth." And Glueware allows you to detect if that drifts away from the standard, and then come back to the customer and say, you know, you're, you're no longer in compliance or you're not aligned with what you said you wanted to and so forth, right? Exactly. And, you know, whereas, you know, in the past that could be done on a daily basis or a you know, weekly basis, something like that, this can also be almost be done in real time where if the change is made, it can be identified. And, you know, if if configured as as you want it to be, it could actually, you know, immediately roll that back if it were, you know, like a no touch portion of the config that absolutely should never be touched. And, you know, imagine that happening at two o'clock in the morning, you know, nobody's looking at that unless, you know, maybe the next morning, you're like, hey, something happened, yeah. whereas, you know, it's too late by then. It right? could be a sign that somebody's managed to get in, they've breached and they're starting to move laterally. If your network starts reconfiguring at the wrong time of day or something changes, yeah. you need to no, and if it drifts, that's that's kind of like a tool. I guess one of the questions in my mind is as a reseller, you've got to go into customers with a wide range of equipment and that multi-vendor environment, that's that's not easy. So what are you doing there? Right. Yeah. So you know how many customers out there have uh, DNA Center, uh, you know, Panorama, Aruba Central, uh, you know, Forta Manager, you know, all in one environment because of mergers and acquisitions. And, you know, they're juggling that and, you know, switching between different uh, GUIs just to, to configure and, and manage stuff. Well, you know, the beauty of Glueware is being able to combine mm -hmm. that management into one pane of glass mm -hmm. and that dreaded term, right? But then in this, in this instance, it's actually, you know, it's, it's able to do that. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, save time uh, and, and uh, help uh, with errors that that, uh, that 
I'm thinking no, of the think time when I was working for a reseller. Um, we should put the slide up on the screen, but I remember going on site and suddenly having to learn all of these technologies and all of these uh, capabilities and mm -hmm. then working out how to connect to Telnet or SSH into everything, discover everything in the network was days and days of work. Right. And then trying to conduct a security audit without actually feeling all that confident that I knew what was going on. Sure. But yeah. You're smiling at me going like, ah, <laughs> is, that, is that unreasonable? <laughs> oh, man, no, that's, that's every day for a lot of customers. And, you yeah. know, and just being able to, you know, you know what uh, the management's, you know, who should be able to access the, the different devices and being able to have that consistent across all the different vendors is, is quite a task. And especially yeah. as you companies are growing and, uh, you know, adding new devices, different vendors, keeping that consistent is a real challenge. But, uh, you know, leveraging Glueware has, has made this possible. Yeah, I, I just think the idea of using Glueware as a reseller to do, you know, to go in, use the discovery, find mm -hmm. all the devices, multi-vendor, anywhere, whatever, and right. then you're then able to just leave it there as a security service for the customers, sure. come back in, evaluate the drift, and mm -hmm. even to be able to perform immediate remediation as the drift comes in and out, right? So you yeah. could go back and say, unwind that change because Blue has the ability to do that on devices and say, ah, we've seen some drift. I'm going to undo that. And somebody's yeah. going to lose whatever changes they made or whatever. Yeah, definitely. And it hasn't been nerfed either, right? If mm -hmm. you do have some people on staff that actually are, you know, scripting wizards and, and do want to, you know, do some additional work and leverage blueware you can do that too but you know out of the mm -hmm. box you have automations that that can be used it's it's excellent and uh, it definitely shows value as a reseller to be able to go in and show customers how to do that yeah i just i i'm kind of this is a really interesting way to do professional services is to use the tools like this just come in run cold and blueware's got a big thing about the auto discovery and the multi-vendor aspects mm -hmm. but you can go in and charge a whole whack of money for this because this isn't something customers would think of being able to do. Right. Um, and you you do it as a tool, you can turn it into a service. But the thing that I think I'm most surprised about is you're, you know, we've done some prep for this. Your level of confidence for this to work sort of surprises me that it actually works across a wide range of equipment. Is it, you know, that's, that's the thing I can't really get to grips with, I guess. Yeah. You know, I mean, honestly, um, there's a million vendors out there and uh you know a million partners but you know we found the where we're the most capable is is finding the vendors that that really are best to breed and actually do bring value and and help us to grow as in our relationship with the customers so um mm -hmm. that, that that's why we've partnered with glueware you know advisex is always uh you know looking to to help customers fill the gaps whether it's technical or you know if it's an, an actual Okay. you know, a tool, um, you know, we, we've learned which ones are the best and, you know, we can kind of jump in there and, and really show our value. Okay. Well, thanks, Mike. What we talked about today was these three use cases, custom security, the configuration drift audit, and the multi-vendor management capabilities of Gluer. Thanks so much to Mike Burns from AdviseX for his reseller perspective on using Gluer. Thanks very much, Mike. Uh, thanks, let's Rick. wrap up this section and get ready for the next segment, which is getting your CIO to say yes to automation. And we've got Drew, Rajiv, and Jeff. That's coming right up. We'll be here in 20 seconds. Stand by. <laughs> 